See how it's getting bubbly? That means they're ready to flip. <laughs> Good job! Whoa, go easy on that syrup. It doesn't grow on trees. Well, actually, it does. No, really, it, it does. Trees that grow syrup? George couldn't wait to pick some. I mean, it's not on the tree. It's in the tree. You have to tap it. That's okay. I like my pancakes without. I'll get it. Eat them while they're hot and soggy. Wait, they weren't out of syrup. They had plenty of trees. All he had to do was tap them. was the problem. George needed to tap louder. Hey. And to borrow that mallet. <laughs> George, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, are you looking for syrup? <laughs> well, first you'll have to tap the tree. No, not tap like knocking. I mean a tap like a spigot. Huh. See, you put a tap in the tree and then collect the sap in a bucket. Yeah! You know, I've got an extra bucket if you'd like to make your own syrup. Wow, George, you get a whole bucket? How many pancakes could you cover with that? Ooh! <laughs> George wasn't sure, but he bet it was a lot. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> you want to try? <laughs> Great! Making syrup is easy. First, you have to find a maple tree. Now, a maple tree has gray bark and deep ridges that run up and down like this. And they have five pointed leaves like this. Oh. Yeah, look. The bottle tells you what kind of leaves to look for. Ah. Uh, then you drill a small hole angled up for best sap flow, then hammer in the spigot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it doesn't hurt the tree, George. Right now, it's like the trees are sleeping. They don't need their sap until spring when the weather gets warmer and they put out leaves. Yeah. Got it? <laughs> now, hold on. You'll need these, too. I'll get another set from the barn. You sure you don't want any help? Okay, 